Our next guest lives in Greece. He's an assistant professor in the chemistry department at the University of Athens. We reach Yanis Zabatikis by Skype from Athens. Uh, we're seeing images of people lining up to take their money out of banks. Can you describe the mood of people today? Uh, I think that everybody's a little bit frozen psychologically. There are not a lot of people around in the streets, and uh, we've tried to take some money out of a, a couple of ATMs about an hour ago, and there's no cash anywhere. And in January, you know, Greeks voted in a new government that had a mandate for change. But if Greece defaults on Tuesday and leaves the Eurozone, would you say that people are ready for that? I'm not sure if it's going to be a default or leaving the Eurozone just straightforward as you described on Tuesday. What I know, though, know um, um, that the, the latest proposal by the Troika, as we call it, the European Central Bank and Commission and um, IMF, is not um, doesn't give any any reliability or any viability, because the last you know five years now here in Greece. We've been in a long tunnel, and we can't see any light at the end of this tunnel yet. So are a lot of people frustrated? Are they getting desperate? How are they feeling? It's, it's you know, it's such uncertainty. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, I would say that uh, a lot of people react in different ways. I mean, on one hand, you have about 200,000 scientists that have fled from Greece the last uh, three or four years you know, trying to find a career abroad. There are about 10,000 people who have committed suicide. But um, the biggest problem for me as a university teacher is that there's no clear, you know, prospect. There's no, there's no optimism, optimism that I can actually teach to my students. And this, is, and this is the biggest problem, that this, you know, stabilization or bailout program, you name it, whatever you want it, it doesn't lead anywhere. It has created unemployment, it has created recession, and it's a downward spiral. Ideally, then, what would you and what are you hearing from Greeks? What do they want to see? Uh, they want to see an end to this austerity. They want to see some a, gl a glimpse of growth, and we want, as everybody, we want to have a better job for our uh, for our children, because uh, the, our children, you know, go to university, they get a degree, they can find easily a job abroad, because. You know, Greeks, they're all, all around the, the globe. But uh, here in Greece, the youth unemployment is something like 65%. And for me, this is the biggest problem. It's not the debt, it's the youth unemployment. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you make of the national referendum? Uh, we know that uh, Parliament voted in favor of it. What do you make of that? I think, um, I think it's, the wrong, um, it's the wrong type of approach. The government has made a fundamental mistake there. Because A, they haven't explained to nobody of us what is the plan B if the people say no next, next Sunday. Or if, uh, if we say yes, then it's going to be a continuation of the austerity with all the problems that I have already said. Uh, so it's not a clear uh, situation. And at the end of the day, we have to remember that, that this government has a very clear and fresh mandate back in January. They should have explained to the Greek people since then what is this plan B and where does it lead. So when we look at the future, do you find, are Greeks saying they want to leave the country? I don't know. I don't know what to say about the future. All I know is that we, I'm using a metaphor now, is that we imagine we're in Greece, we're a member, a family with four members. Both parents are unemployed and our house has a high mortgage. We can't pay by, we can't pay back this mortgage because we're, both parents are unemployed, and this is the situation now. If we don't, if we, if we don't solve the unemployment problem first, then any debt is, is cannot be cannot be you know, um, paid back. Right. Well, we appreciate your insight. Thanks so much for joining us. You're very welcome. Bye. Yanis Zabetikis joining us by Skype from Athens.